now I have quite a few more calculation videos on my channel already but I decided to do a single video based on this one question because it is a really difficult question surrounding percentage yield and I just want to talk you through it so you can understand how you can access the top marks in the most difficult questions in your IGCSE and GCSE chemistry exams. In fact, sometimes these do actually come up in A-level and IB chemistry, so it could actually be relevant for you guys too. But anyway, I'm going to talk you through how we're going to solve this question. So, a student reacted 2.4 grams of copper 2 oxide CuO with hot sulfuric acid. She made 5.21 grams of copper 2 sulfate crystals. The equations for the reactions are find the percentage yield. So we can automatically see that this is quite a complicated question simply because there are two equations given. Now let's start by writing the equation for calculating percentage yield. And you really must just learn this. So percentage yield equals actual yield divided by theoretical yield. And then because it's a percentage yield, we need to multiply the answer by 100. So if we look back at the question, we can see here that she made 5.21 grams of copper 2 sulfate crystals. So that there is our actual yield. However, we do not know that theoretical yield, so we're going to have to do quite a lot of maths in order to find that. So really, our first step is to find the theoretical yield of the copper 2 sulfate crystals, which is Cu-SO4.5H2O. And this is how we're going to go about it. Start by writing out your first equation. And I do think it's important that you do this so that you don't have any copying mistakes and that you can see exactly what's going on. Now remember, I love doing tables with these things, so I'm gonna turn this into a table right now. And in my table, I'm gonna list mass, MR, and number of moles. You must remember this formula triangle, and that formula triangle states that mass is the number of moles times the MR. So we're kind of ready to go. So let's look back at the original question. We know that the student reacted 2.4 grams of copper two oxide. So we can substitute that into our equation. The next thing to ask ourselves is, is what piece of information we're going to try and find out. Well, really, we need to work out how much copper sulfate was produced from that 2.4 grams of copper oxide. And why do I know that I'm after the mass of copper sulfate? Because if you look at the second equation, that is going to feed in to the crystals, which is actually what we're after. So really, our first step is to find out the mass of copper sulfate produced from 2.4 grams of copper oxide. Now we're ready to go. Use your periodic table to find out the MR of copper oxide. The mass of copper is 63.5. The mass of oxygen is 16. Therefore, the MR of copper oxide is 79.5 grams. Our number of moles we can find out using this formula triangle. So number of moles is mass divided by MR. So just do 2.4 divided by 79.5 grams to get 0 0.0301886. Remember not to round too soon. Check the mole connection. So you're looking to see if there are any big numbers here. It's the same. It's both 1, which means you can carry that number for the number of moles directly across. Work out the MR now of copper sulfate. So copper again is 63.5. According to the periodic table, sulfur is 32, and then you need four lots of oxygen. That gives you a value of 159.5. And now X, which is the mass, we can see we can work that out by doing number of moles times MR. So do 159.5 times that 0 0.0301886 to get your mass of 4.8 and I'm going to keep that number nice and long again because that is not our final answer. All we've done at this point is work out the mass of copper sulfate, which I can now write up here. And hopefully now you can see we're going to do a repeat process, the same calculation, but this time with equation 2. We have that preliminary information that we need, so we now need to just work out what the theoretical yield of copper sulfate crystals would be. So we're going to rewrite that equation. We need our table back again with the same values in it. We know that our mass of copper sulfate was 4.81508. We know we're after the mass of copper sulfate crystals, so I'm writing an X here, and we're going to do the same sort of calculations again. So first of all, start by working out the MR of copper sulfate. We already did that up here, so I'm just going to copy that down. Let's find out our number of moles by doing mass divided by MR. 
so 4.81508 divided by 159.5 to get 0 0.0301886. Check your mole connection. It's one to one again, so you can just copy that number across. Your MR is going to be slightly more complicated because you're finding it for the whole of the copper sulfate crystal. So we know it's 159.5 for the copper sulfate part. But now let's work out the MR of the water. So we need to do five lots of hydrogen times two and five lots of oxygen. And once you pop that into your calculator, you get 249.5. And then your final step is to find X. Remember that mass is number of moles times MR. So do 249.5 times 0 0.0301886 to get a theoretical yield of 7.53205. And now we're ready to use our original equation, the percentage yield equation up here, because we have our actual yield, and now we have our theoretical yield. So I'm gonna rewrite that equation. So the actual yield was given in the question, which was 5.21. Our theoretical yield we've just calculated as being 7.53205. Multiply that by 100 and you get a final percentage yield of 69.2% to three significant figures. And that is your final answer. Right, I hope you found that video super helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like this or what sort of videos would be useful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be back soon with another video. <laughs>